Hi, I'm Nick Kilzer. I'm the Senior Science Editor at World Book Publishing. I'm here at World Book HQ to answer the question, can we bring woolly mammoths back to life? Mammoths were prehistoric animals closely related to present-day elephants. Mammoths were huge, lumbering beasts that lived in Europe, Asia, and later on in North America. The oldest known mammoth bones date to about four million years ago, and they're found in Africa. Mammoths later spread to other continents and reached North America by about one and a half million years ago, during a period of time known as the Pleistocene. The Pleistocene is a time that was marked by a series of ice ages when the Earth was cooler and colder than it is today. Certain mammoths, called woolly or hairy mammoths, had long hair on their bodies. This hair helped protect them from the severe cold of the Pleistocene. Prehistoric hunters hunted mammoths for food. Mammoths died out about 10,000 years ago, but the bones of many mammoths are preserved as fossils. And in Siberia, the bodies of mammoths have been found perfectly preserved in the ice. Now, can people bring mammoths back? The surprising answer is that it may indeed be possible to bring them back. Scientists have found well-preserved cells in the bodies of frozen mammoths from Arctic regions of Alaska and Siberia. Some of these cells are so well-preserved that the nucleus, the part of the cell that contains the genetic material, remains intact even after it's been frozen for more than 10,000 years. In early 2011, scientists in Japan announced plans to try and recreate a woolly mammoth using cloning techniques. They plan to create a cloned mammoth embryo and implant that embryo in the body of a living female elephant. If this is successful, the elephant mother would give birth to a genuine, live, woolly mammoth baby. Many scientists doubt that this will work, but others think it has a chance. So the answer is that it may indeed be possible to bring woolly mammoths back from extinction.